What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you for tuning in to Curly's Gaming Channel. Like and subscribe. So today we're pretty much going to be talking about Skarn. He's an Earth type monster and does devastation to anybody that crosses paths. Unless you wear the Terra's armor, which is the Earth element that protects you for from such things so and as you've seen mine was at 300 so I'm gonna be taking damage but it's not gonna be to the point where I get knocked out I don't believe anyway so let's get started so you know I pretty much do what I always do you know pretty much throw up the flare to to let other players know where I'm at but right now I'm pretty much using the ice sword but the weapon that you want to use against him is anything that deals with a shock electricity I currently don't have one so I pretty much decided to go with the strongest weapon I had had available to me and not only that it pretty much gives me like a 10 uh, 10 plus region on my endurance so you know it wasn't a bad choice at all you know when he pretty much stands up if you have the ability or like have the power to knock him down do so but in order for you to do that you literally have to attack his feet feet legs whatever anything in that area if you want to you could probably even hit him in the balls but you but you know you pretty much you know you gotta knock him down because if you don't he'll pretty much come down on you and deal a, a good amount of damage to you and what you want to watch out for this uh, monster once he pretty much shifts all his you know all his armor to one side roll the opposite direction because that's the way he's gonna fly and when he flies he's gonna hit you Cause he throws his whole body see look right there he hit me he pretty much did like a mini cannonball now he's up there you know trying to play king of the hill and whatnot but you know me and my crew wasn't having that so you know we pretty much messing them up and by far like for new players or like people that haven't met made it past this person like I'm still using the Terra gear and I'm up there fighting threat level nines or and you know so on and so on this is a good set of armor so I, hi I highly recommend it you know so you know it pretty much gives your teammates shields right along with you I believe it's like for 12 or 15 seconds but nonetheless it still gives them a free shield like I can either make you or break them whatever you know pretty much got an inch of their life left and you know you can generate that shield to protect them with why not do it you know this is a game to where you need to be working as a team you know so if you have equipment that you can equip that can help you and your teammates out do so and so right now I pretty much have the sword this is like actually one of its special like overdrive abilities I really don't like that like the little cyclone spin around nah it really doesn't fit my style I rather like just uh, you know if you watch my previous one of my previous videos I pretty much power up and you know I can do like some some good damage you know cuz it pretty much just gives me a buff all around toward my attack power up into my you know my attack speed but so right now what we have is he's enraged and while he's enraged he pretty much attacks from the direction that he's been hit so you want to watch out where you want to attack him or you just attack him and then you move you get out and you get in so you get out and you get in so but after that's done, like when the armor is coming back, it won't damage you. So you won't take no damage at all. So, you know, get your licks in while you can. 
you know, because they're definitely going to be needed when fighting them. So we pretty much did that. So, you know, pretty much out there progressing in the fight. Oh, this is what you want to watch out for. When you see debris pretty much floating around them, just run away. Because, man, it like, okay, so there's another one that you're going to be fighting. It's, it's like a greater tier than this one. And you want to make sure you know the mechanics to this one before you fight that one. Because if you don't, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have trouble. Because you see what he was just doing, how he was just spinning around with that cyclone. The other one does that, but some other stuff is added. He zigzag and he will mess you up. And when I say, like, I can't survive that, I mean, I don't even think the people with the up tier armor can survive that. So, you know, you really want to you know get familiar with this one's mechanics before you go try to fight the higher one but if you pretty much stay or actually like and if you having problems dodging this attacks I mean the simple way that I can pretty much much explain how I did it was I literally I stayed back and like I watched other people fight them you know, like here and there, you know, I pretty much dive in, get some hits, and then I move back. But then, like, when I'm pretty much comfortable, you know, with how he works, you know, I pretty much go in and do my thing. Because, you know, I just can't sit back and, you know, watch the teammates go at it. You know, I got to get me some of that action. You know, I'm a field soldier. So, right now, I'm pretty much, you know, ooh, yes almost forgot that hammer that hammer does not not just a significant amount of damage but it breaks its armor and I don't know if you can see like those stones that uh, that I'm up there receiving I really can't see it from where I'm sitting at but like that's how you get it I think it's like the Omi stones and like uh, other additional ones like stone shards or something like that but yeah that's how you get those For the players that have low quality gear, I cannot stress this enough. You got to keep your health up because if you don't, you will die. And nobody want to pick you up while up there trying to survive. You know, that's kind of, I mean, it happens, but like when you can avoid it, I believe you should avoid it. You know, be considerate of your teammates. But, but for the most part, you know, just keep on getting in. When he's in rage, getting in and attacking him, you gotta make sure that you watch out. Cause when you attack him, you need to move, because that armor is gonna begin thrown at you. And watch yourself if you fight on the edge, cause you'll pretty much do the same thing like that guy just went through. He pretty much got hit off the cliff and got responded all the way to the back. But King of the Hill is no more. But we are about to slay this guy. But y'all take care. Thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you once again.